Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to show you how to organize your garden tools, shovels, all that kind of stuff for free. 100% free. Uh, a lot of people like myself have a lot of tools and stuff just kind of angled up in one corner and it's really not that safe. Or you might have had something like this uh, where you can have three shovels or rakes or whatever, but I really don't like this uh, because you can take off one shovel and it'll take off the other one or the rake or whatever. It's just not very uh, functional and it's also not very safe. So we're going to show you how to organize it for 100% free and it's going to be extremely safe. Check it out. So the only tools that you're going to need today are a screwdriver, some brackets are optional but they are helpful, some screws, and lastly some leftover wood from some projects you've done in the past. So today I'm going to show you how to do it two different ways. Again, this is basically all just tools and stuff and material left over so it should be 100% completely free to you. Just a little bit of time invested. Uh, so first I'm going to show you how to organize all your tools and shelves and everything with a pallet. Really, really easy. This is, you can get pallets for free pretty much anywhere on Craigslist. People, companies are always just asking people to come take them for free. So this is a great way to get a pallet for free and organize all your garden tools and shovels. All right, so I went ahead and put the pallet against the post the two by fours in the garage and they fit perfectly in between both two posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some brackets on them right now. All right, so I have a couple brackets that I have from leftover projects and I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of them here on the pallet. All right guys, after I put on these outer brackets, I went ahead and put them, put the pallet against the wall and I went ahead and marked where I could put these corner brackets in on both sides and now I'm finally gonna put one more set of corner brackets on the bottom of the pallet. Alright guys, and now that you have all the brackets on, or however many brackets that you want to put on, now you just go ahead and screw it to the post. Guys, now that we had the brackets in, was able to put all the shovels and garden tools and everything in there, and it looks per it looks great. Again, this was 100% free. I'm just using leftover wood and brackets and screws from other projects, so I was able to organize everything, shove it up against the wall, and give us a little bit more space in the garage, and it looks really nice too. I'm going to show you a second way to do it. It's way, it's even faster, quicker. Check it out. Alright guys, the second way to do this, which is even quicker and simpler, is just find you a 2x4. In fact, I recommend two 2x4s, but you're basically going to do the same thing, but you're just screwing the 2x4s in the post, in the garage. That way you're able to stack uh, your shelves and everything in those slots. So, watch out. So, this is the second idea, just a 2x4 screwed into the post, uh, the studs in the garage, and I recommend putting two. Uh, but as you can see, it works, it's functional for me. I prefer the pallet idea because it comes off of the post and gives you a little bit more space because as you can see, trying to put your snow shovel, it doesn't really fit, it's not as functional, but you can use some of the, your smaller tools with just a, a good 2x4 and it's really easy to do. It literally took like two minutes to put it up. Uh, all right guys, as you can see here, two different ways in order to help organize some of your garden tools and other tools that you might have in your garage. Both of them, the, the, the project cost for both of them was 100% free. Uh, again, you can just use leftover wood, screws, brackets that you left over from other projects. Uh, the project time for this one with the pallet took roughly 30 minutes. Uh, the project time for this one with just the 2x4 across the studs uh, took literally about 3 minutes. Um, so good luck. If you have some other ideas, go ahead, shoot them up there, leave a comment. Take it easy. Until next time, God bless. Peace.